Hello, uh, this is your boy Luke Lee. Uh, I haven't done a video with my face in it for a while. Most of my videos have been clips of video games lately. Uh, but I just wanted to say some things after last week uh, with the election results. Uh, some people were very happy about it and some people were not happy. I was not happy at all. Uh, that's a bit of an understatement. However, here's what I want to say. If you went and voted, you did your part. You can't control how many people vote which way. And this is what I want to encourage. I want to encourage that no matter what issues we have with any elected officials or anyone running for office, that we on the ground level start doing a better job of trying to get along. Uh, you know, there's lots of people who I know about and see and hear opinions from that I think are pretty ridiculous. And I know there's people who think I'm ridiculous. Um, but the reality is there's no point in me telling someone that I think they're ridiculous. And there's no point in someone telling me that they think I'm ridiculous. And there's a reason why you won't see me ever with any political merchandise. There's no shirts. There's no bumper stickers. Um, you know, I heard something fairly recently, like where someone said they remember a time when people would not wear shirts that would start a fight or an argument. Unfortunately, we're not in that time anymore. Uh, I encourage people, whatever you feel about politics, just handle it in the polls, handle it by voting. And if somebody wants to talk to you about it, if somebody wants to debate you about it, then go ahead and debate them because they want to. Uh, if they've acknowledged it, if it's something that's prearranged, but don't try to force that on anyone. If I hear something and someone sounds uninformed, I've learned that I am not the person that is meant to inform them. I can't, I can't inform them. You know, they believe what they believe for whatever reason they believe it. Now, if someone asks me about it because they don't know or they want my opinion, then I might say it, depending. I'm, but, you know, of course, I refuse to be baited. If I know someone's trying to bait me into some shit, some shit I'm not going to be baited, and neither should you. So, I just say this. Let's do what we can Let's do what we can to get along with each other. Let's do what we can to be able to shake our neighbor's hands, to be able to say hello, to be able to say what's up. And you know, all that stuff you hear about families being divided. Now there's some situations where it's understandable completely. And in my situation, any family that I've, that I don't mess with anymore has nothing to do with politics. I just, <laughs> I just decide I don't want to mess with that person anymore. But what we, what we got to stop doing is having family members that we're close to and prioritizing our politics over those family members. That's just not the way it should be. Uh, if a family member tells you, that they are not about that life, about what you're telling, about what you're talking about, about what you're spewing, don't do it. And if you are the family member who is telling the person to stop and they're not stopping, I'm not gonna blame you for cutting the person off. I get it, I get it. But I just encourage that if you're listening to my message, you're listening to my words, that you do your best to not be the one 
that is creating the problem. We just need to do what we can to not create the problems. Now, there's going to be people out there that we already know that we can't mess with, that we can't really talk to or associate with, that we need to keep our distance from, that we should not have you know conversations with because we know they're going to go bad. I was, I was able to filter out a lot of those people a long time ago. But what we got to do is make sure that we don't continue going down that path because there is no point. I want to be in a situation where if a person says hello to me, then I say hello to them. If I don't know who they are, we're just saying hello to each other. How you doing? And they say, how you doing? Vice versa. I say hello to them. They say hello to me. Everything's fun. I don't want to carry myself in a way and people out there, you shouldn't try to carry yourself in a way that makes people not want to say hello to you. That makes people scoff at you when they look at you. That makes people judge you when they look at you because of your shirt you're wearing. Now, I'm not saying don't wear things that talk about your beliefs. If you're really, really passionate about it and it's a real issue and it's not just some stuff that you learned about on the internet and just bought into, I mean like real stuff, real definite provable stuff. Uh, but don't wear things hoping that someone's going to have a problem with you. I think a lot of people know a lot of people know when they put certain bumper stickers on that it's going to cause problems. That someone may blow the horn at them. That someone may flip them off because they're, you know, sharing rage bait. They want to bait people. They're saying like very aggressive things. You do your best not to fall for that. If you see someone with that bumper ticker, it's okay just to shake your head. It's okay just to be like, oh, this guy. Or wow. They uh they really they really uh <laughs> they're really going over the top with this. But you don't have to say anything to them. You don't even have to look at them. You don't have to blow your horn at them. Nothing. Just let it go. Just let it go. I just want to encourage everyone to just do your best to get along. I'm in Ohio. I'm a black man. And I'm, you know, left-leaning. Or if you want to just say I'm liberal, you can say I'm liberal. So, you know, there's already some issues here. But I tend to do a decent job. So if I can do a decent job with it, I feel like most people across the country can do a decent job with it. And for those that you can't do a decent job with it around, just avoid those people. This is your boy LX2. I just wanted to speak my piece and uh, hope some people like what I have to say. Talk to you next time.